Welcome to the Clear Shots Podcast with Seth Skinner and Jake Jones. What's going on, guys? It's Seth from Clear Shots, and today we sit down with our friend Cass for episode 52. live um about seven years or so times really? yeah but usually around like four or five give or take that's crazy yeah most of the time they have lung problems and they'll like suffocate on themselves kind of like with pneumonia because their <laughs> lungs are so small i can't i can't breathe myself is in the way <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the way, me. You're hocking up all the air. <laughs> Jesus. It was like a some... pretty crazy experience because we had a couple of rats die like that. Oh, and... I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. And like one of them actually escaped out of the cage and came like running to us. And then she like died in our arms. And then the other one, like he was like. When I was at the cage, he was, like, coming up to me, like, yo, help. I, like, usually they're just, yeah. unless it's you're giving them food through the cage, they won't really, like, care what you're doing. But he was just, like, yo. He's, like, there's some shit going down. And I opened the cage, and he came running out onto me. And then, like, eventually when he was dying, like, he was trying to run away from where he was. You know, we were holding him, and he'd, like, try to run away from that mm-hmm. like and it was i could and it's kind of like the feeling of like well i, I think basic a lot, i think a lot of animals want to die by like alone isn't that their like instinct like they want to run away <clears throat> and just like curl up because they know what's happening i know dogs like do that you know like they have just a feeling that mm-hmm. shit's wrong i think he was like like Yo, I need help. Like, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Give uh, me the EpiPen. <laughs> <laughs> the EpiPen is the size of him, right? <laughs> but like Jesus. that, like basic where he was having that problem, try to run away from it and get to a different place. Like right. your other muscles can move, and that's kind of like I can see somehow like it's our reaction to things where we're like, oh, that's uncomfortable. I'm gonna try to get away from it. Mm-hmm. But, like, even if it's, like, no matter what, like, the jerk reaction, like, something's hurting your elbow yeah. or whatever, you're like, oh. Right, yeah, like, you naturally just move. Yeah. And, like, when you're dying, you're like, oh, shit, I gotta get, like, that away feeling from this, here. This away death. from death. Yeah. yeah. I noticed when You're running from that, the Grim Reaper, dude. They have that experience. Even though, like, me. you can't run away from what's inside you or yeah. whatever. <laughs> you gotta embrace the evil. Yeah. Embrace the good. You just gotta die. Yeah, they're That's super the smart movie. though, aren't they? Rats, yeah. like I, we we're, we were talking about the documentary, but like, are your rats smart? Have you noticed any smart shit they do? Intelligence. They both definitely have personalities. One of them likes to be held, and the other one likes to, uh, like, kind of. He'll still get on your shoulder, but he doesn't like to be handled. Yeah, as it's much. weird. Like pretty much any animal has a personality. It's so weird. I'm sure ants have different personalities and shit. No, I'm sure. They don't. <laughs> I guarantee you, they don't. I'm pretty sure. Ants uh, haven't are you under ever like seen? A, have you never the, seen ants? They're under like a. <laughs> have fucking, you never seen a bug's life? <laughs> aren't like ants and all those hive insects are all under like a pheromone, like hive, like a fucking. Uh, aren't we all? It, that's true. I mean, sort of, yeah. <laughs> but what? What's that, dude? Like who's mind, the flood? Sort of. Grave mind. It's like yeah. that kind of shit. Yeah. Like, you know, ants are scary as fuck. You know what? <clears throat> they got some capability, dude. They, yeah, they can do Yo, some shit. You ever remember the show, The Most Extreme, on Animal Planet? I no. think so. The most extreme. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, like no. the top show, 10, like... it'd be like the top ten fucking shit. They'd have the Wicked Bad CGI. Okay, yeah. Yeah, ants were always like no if you if there was a commercial in between 
uh, parts of that show and ants were on one of the slides, you knew they were going to be number one. Yeah. Ants or fleas. Like, it's, <laughs> it's like the strongest carriers. It's like an ant they are. can lift 300 times. Dude, ima- imagine if we could do that. <laughs> <It'd> be <fucking laughs> We'd be lifting nuts. houses and shit. <laughs> I remember the one, the only thing that ever stuck with me with that show was that if proportionally the way that fleas jump, if humans could do that, they'd be able to jump over the Empire State Building from a standing yeah. start. Football would be like hurtling constantly. Hurtling but like, continents. <laughs> <laughs> there'd be so many tackles in midair, like super high in the It'd air. It'd just be like Edge spearing Jeff Hardy yeah. over and over and over. <laughs> it's fucking... Dude, if we could carry like ridiculous amounts of weight, we'd have skyscrapers that are like six times the size of what we already have. It'd be so easy to just build shit. <laughs> Damn. We'd you, build it that'd be the, terrifying if there was a skyscraper that was a mile tall. Fuck yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> there basically is. Freedom Tower is what? 2,000 feet? Is it? 2001 feet. Isn't that the point? Because of 9-11. Oh, is that really why I'm they I'm pretty sure, it? yeah, because one of them is 1,776 feet high, and the other one's 2,001 feet high. And then the other one is in a field in Pennsylvania. Oh, so it's even easier to hit with a plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 they better really think about that, dude. They yeah, put if they don't want their plane, if they don't that want the skyscrapers thing. hit by planes, they should build them down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was. That would be a great. I'd imagine? live in an underground that, city. That'd be, yeah. That would be such a fucking terrifying thing, though. dude. If you could just build everything underground, we're safe from like a lot of shit, except yeah. the locusts. Yeah. What will locusts do? <laughs> they live underground and they kill you. You ever played Years of War? No. No. Oh man. The scary guys. Oh god, oh fuck. Yeah, they're like little reptilian dudes that live underground. Uh-huh. And they come out yeah, of It's the, like the lizard people that run the world. They come yeah. out of the earth's crust and fuck everything up. Yeah. <laughs> god <laughs> fucking damn it. Did you see that guy that like faked an injury in that restaurant or whatever? Nope. He like put a bunch of water on the floor and then fake fell down and like <laughs> it that was all on video. That's so, so they got like they got like a video of him like laying down next to a puddle, because <laughs> he was trying to just get a bunch of money out of him. <clears throat> People that's are fucking good. so funny, like, and that's a guy that's definitely done it before. <coughs> like he, you know, he's done it before. Like it's not that no one just walks into a place and is like, you know what? I bet I could get some money out of these people. But that, that's a guy who's been, like, doing that shit for a while. Master con artist. Yeah, and finally got caught on camera. But, like, doesn't everywhere have cameras now? <laughs> like, how do you think you can get away with that kind of shit now? Yeah. Everywhere was, has cameras. It'd be, I feel like it'd be so much... It was, like, uh, John Mulaney had a bit about it where he was like, it was so easy to get away with murder yeah. back before they knew about DNA. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like... But that's why they would also have such severe punishments because, yo, if we do catch you, so that at least there's that barrier. Yeah, that's the thing. The death penalty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, dude. It's weird because you almost think like rotting in jail is probably a worse penalty than just killing somebody. Yeah. It's kind of just getting rid of them, like kind of getting off easy. You know, or way. you can force them to dig underground skyscrapers until they die. That's true. Then we would have an underground city. Imagine that. Yeah. Send them away to the underground city. <laughs> Give them a shovel. Sounds like a book. <laughs> like, just oh, dig Oh, man. Dunk. Yeah, like, like the years like 2150 in America yeah. has all their maximum security convicts yep. creating an underground city. The world is the dig world, dug. The world has been ravaged by nuclear yeah. fallout. And like <laughs> That's how they make the prison bigger is they just dig down. Yeah, eventually we're going to run out of airspace, so we got to go down. Yep. <laughs> I still think we should keep exploring the oceans. We were talking about that last yeah. week when we were hanging out. Like Bioshock, where what it's if we underwater had buildings city? in the oceans, <gasps> yeah. Yeah, Bioshock. Like in Atlantis. I want, what is that city called? Rapture. That'd be safe. Oh, my God. You wouldn't have weather, really. It seems like you, oh, man, I'd just be scared all the time of something collapsing in it. Yeah. Because that would be... You'd I'd have to have um. Ever want to be? You'd in have to a have like submarine. Japanese engineers to take care of everything. You'd have to have <laughs> se- doors that seal immediately. Yeah, yeah. Like or always sealed every time you Airlock walk seals. in a room. Yeah. I don't know. Rapture seemed all right. 
Yeah, and that was in the fifties. Bioshock did but it. Right. Granted, that was like <laughs> fictional, completely yeah. and entirely fictional. But like, just have that. I'd live there. That'd be sweet, dude. You it was so cool. Out of your hands and like shit, the first time I played that. The first time I played it, and you first go down into this underwater oh, city. Oh yeah. And it's like you're in this like weird like the little bio thing, right? tube thing, and you like see all the buildings with like tubes like connecting all of them together, and then like octopuses swimming through and, and like, sharks the, the, and shit. The blue whale is like. <laughs> Oh my god! But it's like, what prevents wildlife from hitting it? I think they're more intelligent than we give them credit for. Mm, yeah, I but what happens if they get pissed and they just ram a fucking building? Well, well, that's why those to... big things are usually really deep. So yeah, that's like true. the colossal. Squid. But you have to build on the ground on the on the floor. You would imagine, or that scary the floor. squid. What was that one? Because you can't just build it floating in the water. No, because then it would just be. Um... It would have to. It would be It'd either be buoyant. Yeah, it would yeah. just be moving and be structurally. Too. Yeah. Whatever the fuck that was called, I can't remember. So you have to build it on the sea floor. Mm-hmm. Let's just build a city. What if in... you build it underground the sea floor? Under the ground now, sea floor. Now you're thinking. We'll we'll have the convicts dig the underground city, and yeah. then the underground city convicts. No, we just we'll have dig them, underwater underground. We just have them dig until they drown, which is probably ten seconds or so. <laughs> <laughs> but we get ten seconds of work in for every convict. So yeah, and that's a lot considering how many there are. You know, <laughs> what was that one? The was it the big fin squid? That wicked sketchy squid that like has big fins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that we had the we had the bit about the cephalopod bit. Uh, yeah, he's just, just we were, terrifying ocean creatures, dude. I want to explore that shit. Godzilla like so is many... my favorite creature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, oh man, I love Godzilla. You know, it's weird. Godzilla lives under the water, kind of, but yeah. it's not really a water creature. What is it? He's amphibious, isn't he? He's like a gecko. Apparently, like one of the versions I saw was he was like a one of those Komodo dragons, and then the U.S. was just like using a bunch of islands to bomb, and then Nuclear the shit? radiation of that turned him into it's the idea Godzilla. of like Cloverfield too. It was like they yeah. they dropped like a satellite fell into the ocean or something. The radiation fucked it up. Oh, really? And created okay. a monster. Okay. Or multiple. The theory is that there's multiple monsters. Yeah. And because they look different. I saw the like, one where they were going in the bunker. Uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Yeah. And yeah, then there was, was that other one where it was like the parallel parallels. universes. Yeah. And... yeah, that one was weird too. That one was fucked because at the very end of that one, the monster is so big that it's in like the stratosphere. Yeah. So maybe it's another map, or maybe it was just another universe. I thought, what I remember reading was that the one from the first Cloverfield was actually a newborn. It was just a baby, yeah. It was that just was, a baby. Yeah. Which is terrifying, because the Cloverfield monster is a fucking menace. We have mm. to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you Send know what? What is in. Trump doing about the Cloverfield monster? <laughs> I haven't heard him say anything about it. Dude, there's a new Godzilla cool. movie coming out in May. A new one? Yes. Like a reboot? King or like of a the monster. Oh, yeah. Well, they've been doing yeah. King Kong and shit, too. Like yep, the and eventually and they're going to fight. And yeah, they are. I want to put like my the... money on Godzilla, even though the original version there's gonna be bets. had King Kong beating Godzilla because he was more famous at the time. So yeah. either they're going to do the right thing it all depends or they're going to keep is it more over, original. Really. Right. It might yeah. be Daniel Bryan winning it all. See, that's or the like thing. The Rock. Like if Triple H, if <laughs> Triple like H comes the back, Rock with like nuclear radiation. Yeah. <laughs> if Triple H comes back, he might win it. I'd love to watch a movie where a 400 foot tall Triple, Triple H, H pedigrees Godzilla <laughs> <laughs> through a table. <laughs> he doesn't has does he? He has short arms though, right? Like a T Rex, or is there? Are they regularly long? They're kind of. They're a little shorter than normal arms. But they're bigger than a yeah. T-Rex, yeah. Yeah, they're like spud, spuddy. Yeah. <laughs> is that a word? Spudsy. <laughs> it's mostly forearms. His elbow's like right here. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so I feel like his range of movement is a little limited. But, that, but he's I feel got like the atomic breath. And the tail. Yeah. You yep. know, all you got to do is spikes. turn. <clears throat> yep. 
the spikes. And he's Godzilla. He's Evidently. like 400 meters tall. Well, I mean, they tried shooting him and shit, right? Doesn't do shit. Doesn't do shit. Yeah, every time, doesn't he just, he's like, ah, fuck it. And then he goes back in the ocean, right? Isn't he's that like, like, well, what the fuck? They're After yeah. he destroys everything. Yeah. He's like, what the fuck? They're shooting me. <laughs> he's like, ah, fuck it. Yeah. I'm going to go help. They can't shoot me underwater. I'm going to go help build that underwater city. <laughs> I wish I could roar like Godzilla. Uh, yeah uh, you know what's crazy too is that you said the godzilla roar and i i immediately heard it in my head and i'm pretty sure it's been the same da, na, na, it's it's, na, 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 <laughs> it's, been, it's been the na, same like na, roar same since roar. he was created na, right na, na, na. like the yep. air, or whatever the fuck how it sounds yeah it's the same yeah yeah that's, that's yeah. Have, dun, isn't dun, that crazy dun, they remastered like the 50s dun, 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 they remastered it though I fucking I did you ever does play the, voice the game acting for Godzilla. the Godzilla Godzilla Save the Earth? No. I've seen that one. Oh, it was for the PS2 and it was like a uh it was like an arena fighter where the arena was a city and you were Godzilla or King Ghidorah that game. Okay, or Mothra yeah. or Jet Jaguar. Yep. I'm surprised they haven't just made an open world one where you just destroy everything. Oh, like building. they tried and it they tried making one for like PS4 and it fucking bombed wicked hard. Hmm. But Godzilla That's because I didn't Earth buy it. Amazing, That's because I, I didn't buy it yet. <laughs> 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 they need to make it free to play. Is what it, they need to do. Because that worked for all the other ones. Worked for Fortnite. <laughs> If it's free to play, everybody's gonna get it. Yeah. And if it's a free to play Godzilla game, everybody's definitely gonna get it. Godzilla is like, he's gonna beat all these monsters yeah. in this next movie. He's gonna be king of the monsters. Yeah. Godzilla, king of the monsters. That's the name of it. <laughs> well, they already spoiled it by telling you he's gonna be the king. But you can always put your money on Godzilla. Like, it's just he he's always big... pulls through. Yeah, yeah, he does. He's a big dude, you know. You got to bet on the big guy. But it's like, who do you even put up against Godzilla? I mean, Kong, obviously, is the only... Uh, King Ghidorah. Yeah. Who's that? Uh, you guys see the Planet Mothra. Eater on Netflix? Godzilla? No. It's like this... And th- that was the last one, but there's this three-part animated <coughs> Godzilla series. And... uh I guess I'll spoil it for you guys a little bit. Spoiler warning. Yeah, that's fine. So, like, they are leaving Earth because Godzilla is destroying Earth. And then there's this alien race that, actually two different alien races that come that look humanoid. And they help um, get the Earthlings that are on the planet. They give them this technology so that they can go like warp speed and go the speed of light and stuff. Futuristic technology. And one of them, they have like a religion that is like technology based in a sense and it's always been right and they've been traveling for like some odd years like 20 years or so but in earth time it's been like 20,000 years when yeah. they come back because yeah. going through light speed yeah it's like, like interstellar <laughs> didn't we say that last <laughs> we literally time literally you mentioned interstellar on every fucking yeah. episode now. <laughs> well because we always we keep talking about like how time is like the variation of time in different areas of space yeah <clears throat> well it doesn't it has to do with gravity right like the amount of gravity that's in a certain area or something mm-hmm. like that don't ask me dude or how Why much not? nitrous you... you do? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I work in an office, man. I, oh, know I thought shit. you knew. I thought I you knew gravity. Shit about I thought you were in a. Gra- I thought you were doing a gravity office. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we're floating everywhere. <laughs> but continue. But the alien race that helps them, and they get back to Earth, and they end up like doing critical damage to Godzilla, and they think they can defeat it. Um. The alien races start tricking the humans into worshiping this god called Ghidorah, and they end up summoning it from the void. And they they Jesus. trick them into like offering themselves up as sacrifice. They're like, "Do you give yourselves to this god that will um, yep. give you uh, what's the word? 
immortality. Eternal life and bliss. It's always immortality, seems like. He will give you pounds of cocaine. <laughs> 87% um, purity. Yeah. Lunchables. Salvation. <laughs> He, was, he, he was will saying, provide lunchables <laughs> for all partakers. But here's the catch: they're the ham ones, the ham and cheese <laughs> lunchables. <laughs> he was offering them salvation, and his definition of salvation was: uh, if you offer yourself up as a sacrifice to Ghidorah, and uh, that's like the ultimate form of salvation. Oh, so that is your reward? Yeah. <laughs> See what's weird is that's such a thing though yeah. <laughs> with humans. Like people dude, there's so many fucking people that'll kill themselves for a god or j- even for a cult. It's fucking crazy. And yeah, or like there's a divorce those, settlement. You guys see Godzilla versus <laughs> Mothra? Yes. You yeah. know those two little like fairy girls or whatever. Um they had them in it, but they w- were normal people size. And they had the power of telepathy, and so did the alien race that was tricking everyone to yeah. sacrifice themselves. They could hear what they were going doing, and they were like, wait, what's your definition of salvation? And so it was, they, right. they were like on to them and stuff. And then they end up summoning Ghidorah from the void, this three-headed like dragon thing. And Godzilla was, wasn't able to do anything to it because it was like, between dimensions and stuff yeah and it was just fucking up godzilla and then they ended up like doing something to the guy that was like the eyes of Ghidorah, so that he could see through the dimensions it was one of their followers and then they ended up like putting out his eyes so that Ghidorah couldn't do anything in that dimension yeah. huh. and that then- was Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. And then Godzilla. Well, I mean, he knows what he's saying. He's wearing a Godzilla shirt. (laughs) (laughs) He is. He's from France. (laughs) He is. I was going to say, that was in uh, Save the Earth, the game I was talking about. Destroy all humans. (laughs) Ghidorah is like the main antagonist Mm -hmm. in like the first act. That same thing happens, and then you kill him, and then they, they do Mecha King Ghidorah, right? Oh god! Oh, that's not good. Anytime there's Is a that mecha... in the animated series or no? Was that no, the older not yet. series? I, not yet. I do remember that though. Yeah, like in mecha like the seventies or some shit. You don't want mecha anything, dude. No. And <clears> then <throat> he kills mecha King Ghidorah, and then Space Godzilla comes in. Yep. With oh the giant god. crystals, <laughs> yep. dude. Space Godzilla is a motherfucker and a half. Let me tell you. They should make Alien Isolation with Space Godzilla instead. Mecha Xenomorphs. <laughs> Tele- that telepathy shit. Telepathy? <laughs> telepathy. <laughs> yeah. The photography? What was that from? Telepathy? No, when he says telepathy. Oh, I think it's from Tim and Eric. Uh, Steve Brule says it. <laughs> he says he wishes he had telepathy. <laughs> so he could dance around the bullies, say nana. <laughs> but, but fucking... <laughs> My point is... This completely derails uh, it. I was thinking about telepathy. <laughs> but no, what if the fucking... What if there are aliens and they have telepathy and they yeah. just keep seeing all of our thoughts and they're like, fuck these people, I'm not going down there. What happens when we get te- telepathy like mm-hmm. in 10 years <laughs> and have a chip in our fucking heads? Oh, God. <laughs> when Twitter is like just thoughts. Oh, there's That's this basically cool, what it would be. This cool point that this guy was saying in a book. All this technology that we have now yeah. is us going around like this is us trying to be Ascend. telepathic and yeah. omnipresent so we can know everything just by yeah. looking at it and like record th- thoughts and experiences. Yeah. Who's to say another species species didn't already do that and has that? Ability? Apparently, we've been derailed from our natural state yeah. as being. Apparently, we'd be able to tap into this if we had done shit naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah like if, if we just took mushrooms and stuff. DMT, like all the time. <laughs> Apparently, that and then that was the conspiracy of why a lot of them are illegal and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they're uh, I mind control. The- well, yeah. yeah, it's weird. I mean, that yeah, that kind of does make sense. And it's I like watched, uh, a lot uh, of shit. A lot of those like psychedelics like can actually expand your mind. Like that's what this stoned ape theory was. Like that fucking apes just started eating mushrooms yeah. and they got smarter. 
became us. <laughs> Monkeys are starting to use spears and swim. Yeah. Yeah. I, Joe Rogan was talking about that, how primates are in the, the Bronze Age or the Stone Age. Stone, Stone Age, basically. Yeah, yeah. That'd be fucked. No, they're not in the Bronze Age. They're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're fucking, they got smelt. They just have, <laughs> like, they have, well, there's just thousands of gorillas in Latin America. Mining. <laughs> like, it mining. Seems they're like, like orakai. <laughs> That's the scariest thing. <laughs> Kill them all. It's kind of crazy how big the world is to, to think about the fact that there's fucking apes that are in the Stone Age still. Fucking like there's another, and there's there's tribes that aren't even contacted yet. Like, oh, I got some in my eye. <laughs> like there's tribes that don't, like have never even seen actual people. Yeah, I watched all the Joe Rogan episodes this week too. They were, oh, yeah. Yeah. They were talking to that one guy. He was talking about how he wants to go and visit the cannibal tribes of Papua New Guinea. Who's Damn. that? I don't know. I can't. Forest something. Forest Whitaker. Apparently, people taste like pork. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. But, well, uh, I mean, a little saltier, but I mean, it's like you would. I mean, you could always put. I bet you taste good. You could always put top <laughs> in on it and shit. I mean, because no one's gonna eat humans plain, you know. Cass like, is today, organic. Nowadays you're gonna He's just put fifty cents a pound. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays you're gonna just put like fucking mayonnaise on it and shit. Like sales, <laughs> turn, sales sassy sauce. Yeah, you're gonna turn it into a burger of some sort, probably. No, but uh, what the episode we did with Brian Cox was interesting. You guys would both like it if you haven't seen it. The Joe Rogan. Uh, See, I don't remember any of the names. I mean, like the I'd, British dude that was talking about wormholes and stuff last week. Mm. He's a physicist and. Seth was talking about aliens with uh, telepathy, mm. you know, being able, and uh, he was saying that, uh, like, imagine, like, if human, like, humans are the most technologically advanced species on Earth, right? And then we have gorillas that are millions and millions of years of evolution behind us. Why would we go out of our way to try and communicate with them? And maybe that's how aliens that are super technological view yeah. us. They're like, why would we even bother? Look at them. They're all killing each other and yeah. shit. And like, Wouldn't it mean not so to much plants? more if we were able to <clears throat> communicate with things that are on this planet? Yeah. That'd right. be nuts. That'd mean Imagine so if the much whole more. Planet, uh, what, that was a fucking avatar. Well, the, the whole planet can communicate yeah. with each other. Right. And they live in synchronicity. Or, well, there's so much we don't know about like... Marine life in general. We could just have the We've been put recording the whales scene. conversations, and we know that they know what month it is. What really? We know that whales know what month it is. Well, we, they're very like they know time. Yes, they're they, very ridiculous. They've fucking. been recording the whales conversations in the oceans, and during January they'll be saying this type of moo or whatever. And then during February, it changes, and then yeah. they recorded it throughout the years. They speak and... in very specific, like, wavelengths. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um... They're able to communicate, like, 5,000, 7,000 miles apart, like, by sending a low hertz frequency throughout the mm -hmm. water. Like, yeah, it's pretty Almost crazy. half across the planet. Now with all the boat motors in the yeah. water, it's yeah. all humming, so we they can't really... talked about that before. Yeah. Carl Sagan has a video about this. Do do animals get drunk? I mean, they could, I guess. Why wouldn't they? Dolphins get high off of puffer fish. Right, yeah. Some of them know what they can eat and that does that shit to them. Yeah. But, I mean, if, you, if they're going to drink alcohol, chances are it's going to react in their body in some way. I mean, maybe not all of them react. Apparently, the same way. dolphins not, dude, are pretty rapey. Yeah, dolphins mm. are extremely rapey. Yeah, they're pretty Cosby-ish. Yeah. Well, uh, they don't put them out first. They just go for no, it, probably. They're straight up just like... They don't slip anything in their water. <laughs> they put how like... Can, how can you do that? How do can't slip date rape another... Right, you can't slip anything in their drink, unless it's like Spongebob, it in their and they're hole. drinking air. <laughs> yeah. They're drinking air in a glass. <laughs> you slip it in the blowhole there. Yeah, that's weird. Yep. It'd be funny <laughs> if like... <laughs> It'd be funny if, like, there was a culture, like, a date rape culture <laughs> in, like, marine life. We just don't know about it. <laughs> They're having the same... <laughs> There's a lot of shit we don't know about marine life, dude. Yeah. It might be the case. What if they're just, like, dolphins are just as technologically... Or not technologically, but as smart as people. Maybe But they just can't 
move like us. They, just they don't swim. have the bipedal movement. Yeah, they don't have hands. Yeah. They just swim yeah, around. That's a big good. one. They don't have hands. Like, right. if dolphins had hands, we'd be fucked. I would be terrified <laughs> if I saw a dolphin with fucking big ass arms yeah. and a fucking just just, <laughs> just human hands, like Come, manly hands with you. like veins popping out. Oh my god, there's hair just on like them. testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> anchor like Joey arms. Diaz They're hands. like anchor arms. <laughs> Shit, that's oh, such a man. good idea. I'd get fucked up with animals, though. Yeah, there's this conspiracy I saw that like they were trying to communicate with dolphins, and the dolphins knew that their code was not correct. They were trying to squeak it or whatever, yeah. and the dolphins changed how they talk to be able to communicate. Yeah, they can adapt that shit. That's crazy, though. That's and then it was nuts. like put under top secret stuff and all that. Yeah, but it was a cool read. You wonder, though, if, like, whales are actually more intelligent than us, but, like, they don't have the, I guess, like, technological advancement Advancement would be no- nothing, basically. But what if they could fly? Right, yeah. Flying whales. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> we have to back away. They came from a different plant. Drumbelow has this conspiracy. He says that dolphins came from, like, the Andromeda galaxy. And, like, then they went to Sirius, and then they saw that Sirius and our sun are linked. Right. And then they came here. Oh, I thought they went from Mars to Sirius. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Let's just name off all the (laughs) Yeah. We'll try and mix all of them in. As we go. <laughs> and uh they were like, We have to we have to find a planet with a magma core. Right. And with a toxic <laughs> garbage island. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise they'll be I mean stranded. they did find that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Pacific garbage patch is exhausted. <laughs> I was I heard about this theory that uh Fungi and uh, cephalopods are actually from the space. same thing. What's a cephalopod? Like octopuses. Or octopi. Octopi Whoa, squads. that makes so much sense. Yeah. yeah, they look like fucking aliens. That's for goddamn sure. Yeah, <laughs> they're scary as shit. They I ain't touching one of that thing. Shit. Mantis. And they do taste too. so good. Mantids. Yeah, that those was, are crazy. That too. was so good. We the other day I hung out with Cass and Danny, and we legitimately spent like a half hour talking about how crazy mantids Dude, are. If a squid <laughs> was a flying creature, that should be terrifying. <laughs> like watching it like spread the fucking tentacles and like push its way through the squids, air. Squids, yeah, giant squids. They're probably like some of the last there's giant some, creatures on this there's planet. Some big ass squids out there. Have you ever seen the big fin squid? No, I'm pulling that up. Love the big fish. The colossal squid is the one that scares the shit out of me because colossal squids eat. You can't get bigger than colossal. No. Colossal squids <laughs> eat giant squids. And instead Whoa. of suckers, they have fucking claws. Like they're hooks. Oh. They're like Animantium bone. Claws. They're like bone, like uh, almost blades. Oh. And, uh, yeah, you don't want to mess with that. Yeah. They like rip whales and shit to shreds. Yeah. They just wrap all their tentacles around them and just shred. Yep. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> I gotta grab my phone though. It's charging. I'm gonna drink this first though. I like to throw it in the bin. So. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm glad you're telling us all this. <laughs> Cuttlefish are cool though. We talked about cephalopods before. They're like my favorite fucking thing. They're just yeah, so interesting. Are they poisonous? Are those the ones that blow up? Yeah. No, cuttlefish are the ones that. Uh, Oh, I thought they were the ones that kind of expand or whatever. No, puffer. Fish. That's puffer yeah, fishes. Yeah, that's right. Or fugu fish. Is, I don't know. Is what they're... The real name. I feel yeah. like... Oh, maybe they aren't poisonous, because I'm pretty sure you can eat them, right? Yeah, you can eat You them. just got to be like a master chef, otherwise you will figure it. Yeah, you have to be able to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you're not supposed to eat like raw salmon and shit, too, really. Like, it's not really that You're good not for supposed you. to eat certain... I see people do it all the time. Yeah. You're not supposed to eat uh, a certain amount of fish, depending yeah. on where they come yeah. from, because of the mercury. Yeah. Whoa. But, you know, Mama didn't raise no junk. So. I mean, yeah. It's <laughs> like, I feel like, with, <laughs> I feel like with seafood, you probably should cook it. <laughs> Yo, and they have mercury and vaccines and their excuses. Yeah, well. 
It's so we can track it throughout your body. Do do they ever take fucking videos of you after they give you a vaccine right. or whatever? No. Well, couldn't they just put food coloring in there? You can track that. And most of the time, <laughs> <Like a> thermometer. <laughs> col- is, that the, is that the slant you're going down? Right now? It collects <laughs> at your pineal gland. That's and that's what makes you stupid, right? It's your third eye, dude. Yeah. See, we can't see. We can't put Cass in front of a microphone because then he scares the shit out of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Subtly. Yeah. It's when like you, when you get control. into when you it's get into thing, the it's a good thing I've done my own body weight in LSD. Otherwise, I'd be <laughs> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever broken down the word government? Here we go. <laughs> go do it for us. Govern to control. Right. And mente is the uh, Latin word for mind. Oh. Control mind. Sounds like a uh, mind control. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, man. Yeah, we were just talking about that, weren't we? Before? Before we went on, what did we say about that? <clears throat> yeah. Before we were alive? Yeah. Something about mind control and the government. Have you ever heard a harp? Yeah. Higher yeah. Rural Active Research Project. Is that the... Does that weather control or is that a... They can do a lot with it, yes. Yeah. They can also push out the ionosphere and make it like a magnifying glass and huh. so heat up areas as well. Oh, <laughs> see, that makes sense. I feel like that is the kind of shit that... You would think that would fuck with like the ozone and all that shit too. But if you could... If you could if you could control the ozone layer, I mean, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> what are you periscoping? He's doing something on there. Well, no, I got a group message. Instagram live. Asking me why I'm not on Counter-Strike right now. Uh, I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about the ozone layer. <laughs> You're getting the shit scared out of me. <laughs> busy yeah. being frightened. See, the thing is, with Harp, you're not going to get all the information on what it can do because I feel like it's being developed for certain things that obviously they don't want to declassify. Billions of megawatts into the ionosphere. Amazing. The fuck? I don't know why it does that shit. Uh, when you stop playing a video, you have to put to push the little X on the... Like, you know how it goes down to the bottom of the app? The video? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta X Oh, uh, I see. Because otherwise it just plays the last video. Are we playing... Are we getting... St- Oh, here we go. See, that, to me, looks like a fucking alien. Whoa. Yeah. It's a ghost thing. And they've only seen, like, a handful of them, ever. Look at this shit. Why can't anybody who's getting rare footage ever hold the camera? Probably because he's shitting his fucking pants. It's a, probably <laughs> a th- thing under underwater, like a, art, it's a drone of some sort, yeah. car or something. Or submarine. Yeah. Yeah. It's always the people that see the UFOs that just, they're like, oh. When I was a kid, I wanted to be in a submarine. But yeah. then I was just like, no, I'm not willing to a hop yellow one, A yellow <laughs> submarine? And this is the cuttlefish thing. That's why cuttlefish are my favorite. Yeah, this guy. Oh, and they make their own, like, circle thing? Kind of. But it, like, completely, it, it can change. Like, the cuttlefish can look at other creatures and disguise itself as them and it looks just like a hermit crab yeah. when it does this yeah it's very hermity yeah and you know the the, the, thing, the thing that freaks me out about these just cephalopods in general is the way they eat uh, yes. they like they like vacuum yeah. shit up which is like yeah, you, the ones I fucking really that freak me out are like the ones that can blend into everything. Mata Mata turtles. Have you ever seen those? I'm about to. There's a lot of shit on. There's a <laughs> lot of shit on land. M A T A. There's a lot of shit on land that can camouflage itself too, though. And they suck the like fish right out of the water. Yeah. The Mata Mata turtle. That and soft shell turtles. These. Are like my favorite turtle, almost probably like in hand with snapping okay. turtles. That's a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, it's like a hammerhead. Yeah, it's fucking. Um, 
The head shape is so fucking weird. It's unsettling. It just chills in a bunch of weeds and, like, leaves and stuff, so it looks like a leaf. And just... <laughs> Oh, that might not even be its head. When necessary, it knows how to keep still and pretend to be part of the vegetation on the riverbed. No shit. What does it eat, though? Just little fellas? Fish, yeah. Little fish. <laughs> so cute. Look at this snow, or little snoot. <laughs> See, those fish are dumb as shit. Yeah, I was just gonna say, dude, fish are fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Like, oh shit, right this leaf is getting close. <laughs> oh, I missed and then it. That, I one, was that one just chills smiling. there. That, that blue one just chills there. He's like, oh, my friend just got eaten. I might as well hang out here. <laughs> Oh, that's instant. And this guy, look at that guy. He's just, just, he's just cheesing, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's smiling. That is <laughs> fucked. He's so happy. There's a lot of reptiles that do the same thing, but with their tongue real quick. Mm -hmm. You know, they like snatch it real fast. That shit's crazy. Imagine how like fucking like coordinated they have to be for that. To do it so fast. It's just evolution. It's an instinct. It's, tightest, it's an instinct, too. Crazy shit. Like chameleons, you mean, probably, right? Yeah. Like that yeah. That well, they shit. also blend in with their environment, which is badass. I thought it was chameleons. <sighs> do they blend in with the environment? I think so, right? I thought they were. it was like a mood thing, or is it both? Mm, I think they can do both. Chameleon slow motion tongue immediately. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This is why we invented slow motion video, too. <laughs> that and Preston. Yeah. And who's this lady? No, <laughs> Molly Real. <laughs> Lizard. What? It's longer than its body is. <laughs> That's so <laughs> Oh, my God. It's got, like, a little yeah. bone in it it's to like a direct guide. it. Yeah. yeah. And then he pulls it back over that. That looks so uncomfortable. That's so crazy. Those things can really those things, those things can really suck. Yeah, man. What the fuck is forty seven? Forty seven G? What the fuck does that mean? Forty seven G? What do you mean? Forty seven G force? She said it goes at forty seven G speed. What the fuck are you talking about, lady? Maybe that's the case. Right? Forty seven G speed. How much how many I mean, I'm just gonna look how fast is a chameleon tongue. <laughs> I think, well yeah, I mean like give us a real unit of measurement, you know, lady. Yeah, don't don't just throw out Look at her. She knows what she did. <clears throat> it goes zero. You know to, I mean? It goes zero to sixty in a hundredth of a second. Okay, so it's faster than a Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know they shouldn't even be called Teslas. They should just be right. called chameleons. If right. They're gonna be fucking fast. Yeah, they should be called tongues. Yeah, why <laughs> are they called Tesla? Like Nicholas Tesla, and it's owned by Elon Musk. Like you're just taking the dude's name. Who? I guess that's what it is. is he kind of just is. It's like honoring. It's a tribute him. of. Yeah, it's kind of. Okay. I guess that's what I would. That'd be my guess. Well, he should build like those towers of electricity and stuff. Yeah, and then yeah. That's if you want to power, power the car the up, you just rub it like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the more, the more those the, fucking little <laughs> orb things where your hands you touch it with your. <laughs> I have one of those. Do you really? Yeah, I do have one. It's only here. Buy my TV. I don't use it. We should put it here every, pl yeah, every we podcast. Yeah, we should. Though. And at the break, we'll fucking plug it in right there. We'll play with it. <laughs> every time we talk about science, we have to touch it. <laughs> that would be perfect. Yo, oh, guys. It's our science ball. This you ever fortune put your to on tell one? you. No. It fucking shocks the shit out of you. I heard it's not good to put like a bunch of shit on it at once. Like your no, wiener? No, it'll pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't put your wiener on it. What if you blew a load on it? Was it does each sperm attract the electricity? Is it attracted to heat? Is that how it works? Good it's gotta God. be, right? You haven't so found you out yet? No, I haven't just done <laughs> it. Come on, your Tesla coil every now and then. 
<laughs> no, I don't think so. It might have been accidental, but <laughs> there's a dental that's behind your TV. I know, but you can shoot. <laughs> if you 40, arc it, you shoot it for seven G's. If you arc it up, the cum goes zero to sixty in a hundredth of a second. I mean, it does. If you wait a couple just blows days, blows out the back of Katie's head. <laughs> you got to wait a couple days and let it build up. Uh, uh, then you can shoot. It's fucked it. up. <laughs> Drink a lot of water. Just, I'm gonna come. Oh shit! Boom! Like a gunshot. Oof, yeah, it shoots out like gunpowder. <laughs> it's, it's a musket ball. That's what this. That's what those fucking those those. They just absorb. Yeah, just, so the cum just fucking stops. Yeah. That's what they're for. Oh, do you, is there any animal where... Uh, it really shoots? It like, really shoots, yeah. Yeah, I don't what know. What animal comes the fastest? Not like fastest. As hardest. Like, hardest. Like yeah. Velocity-wise. Yeah. What animal comes the hardest? Yeah, that's a good question. You have to look that, <laughs> way. You have to look that up. <laughs> There's got to be something that's registered as like that. It's just... A whale. You, you know, you would think it would be something with a tiny dick, right? Because, like, a horse has a big dick, and, like, it has a long way to travel down the chute before it... It has to <laughs> lose number, velocity. I typed in, what animal comes the hardest? And the number two thing I got was hot things a, a guy does when he's about to come. So let's uh, debate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's not an animal. Well, I guess it... What, where are animals, I guess? So maybe Some comments in another thread made me want to post this. Someone talked about a guy who gets super hard right before coming. It reminded me of a guy I blew whose cock would bend a little right before he fired his load. Hmm. What's a hot thing a guy has said or done that you've experienced just as he's about to blow? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Nope. I love you right before coming. <laughs> it's a little weird. I mean, it's a little strange. Yeah. I guess it just. It's like the calm before the storm. I mean, you gotta read the you gotta read the room. You know, like. <laughs> There's, <laughs> there's like a time and a place. Yeah, I guess if it's like your relative or something. Right. right. Yeah, you can say it then. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it still doesn't give us any definitive answers. It's got to be a human, I guess. Right. Uh. Because I mean, I mean, I feel like Jesus forgive me. At least that's what I remember. I usually wake up somewhere else. Mm. That's not good. Uh, investigate that one. No, you don't want that one either. <laughs> the fucking name is Mrs. Rick Santorum. <laughs> what is it? Is that on a forum or something? Yeah, sort? it's uh, the Data Lounge. Hashtag join the bitch fest. Oh, that's good. Well, we know what they do now. <laughs> they talk about jizzing. <laughs> Words to say before you jizz. Uh, here comes the gravy. No. No, it's not. He see before he comes, he asks me where his car keys are. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I don't know. I don't know if this is for gay dudes or if this is for women. What? Like, oh, well, uh, Dalia was making a joke about it uh, on the one he was just on, the fighter and the kid, and he's like, I think it was like they were talking about. Her name was like Penelope or something, and he's like, "Oh, Penelope, you're so cool." He's like, "That's what he says before he jizzes." In there. <laughs> Such an awkward fucking thing to say. You're so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is she like? But a he said it like so sarcastically. <laughs> I, I think he was just making jokes. I guess about it's shit better than say. being like you're a fucking loser and then right, blowing yeah, your load. Yeah, like <laughs> you'd rather know, lie man. and be nice than than tell the truth and be mean. I mean, especially you're almost, when you're inside somebody. Depends yeah. on what people are into. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some of them probably like that yeah. being degraded and then jizzed in, yeah. or or told that they're cool and then jizzed in. I mean, you're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting so much cooler. Oh. <laughs> How many followers do you want on Instagram? Ugh. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know. I mean, I, you're probably better off just not saying anything at first. I just mean, on the first stare. first attempt, like when you're going in the first time, you probably should hold off. Just don't say anything. Just, yeah, just like, fucking. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to sound like Jack from Jack and yeah. Dexter 1. <laughs> Just, I'm sure there's people that grunt, you know, like they really give it a go, you know what I mean? Yeah, like tennis players. Football. Right. Yeah. 
No, I, that's what I do. I scream football right before I blow a load. Football. Like, and then John Madden's voice. <laughs> no, let me tell you about Brett Favre. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Usually I'm just like... Uh... <laughs> right. I'll see you in church. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well... I mean, it could. I mean, by yourself, you could say whatever you want. It's just a little weird when you do it with somebody else. You know? I usually talk shit to myself when I'm masturbating, right? And then it keeps me going for about an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I just like sh- I just like mutter insecurities to myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can never get a woman to do that to me. <laughs> yeah, because that's the way she's to usually do it. unconscious. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I'm a dolphin, dude. <laughs> oh, man. man, one of these days it's gonna come out. Yeah, and you're just gonna you're just gonna be in jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Fucking like ten years from now, they're gonna be. I'm gonna get accused of rape. <laughs> they're gonna fucking go back to this podcast and be like, "See, yeah, it's so easy. With it's so easy. They just they can get you right now. <laughs> yeah, they could. They're coming. Just, I never said if they were a like you know. I guess if you know they were like loved, you know. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, that's true. You know. Yeah, they, maybe they wanted to be put out first. Yeah, you know. Like, I yeah, right. What if that's like a kink? It's got to be. You gotta discuss it before beforehand. Though. <laughs> that's such a weird kink, though, because you're not even. You gotta record you're not that even, conversation. Though. But you're not even conscious to yeah. experience it. So. You gotta. You gotta just. Oh my god! It's Can kind you of imagine a, willingly. Letting you just like roofy you. Yeah, you, you just, just like, like to wake up. Raped. You, you like to wake up not knowing what happened. <laughs> you like you like waking up full, right? Like, right. Yeah, <laughs> like farting out jizz. And then I don't know that. Yeah, that'd be yeah, that'd be I mean, crazy. And then they show you a video of all the shit you did. And yeah, then it's yeah. Just like oh my god, you. That's the part that they get off to probably. Yeah, I mean, there's got to be somebody out there that likes it. People like everything. Right? I, yeah. I know. I know girls that have like a rape fetish. Right. I've never been with any, unfortunately. So like they like when a go- they dude like, like they acts like, like he's you raping you. Tend to rape them. Yeah. Right. I know. There's this one girl I know that was telling me that she would actually like getting choked have and her shit. Pre- have her boyfriend like pretend to break into the house like, mm. while she's doing something. Yeah, it's like a role play thing. Yeah. That's well, fucking crazy. you know what happens when she does get raped. And then she likes it, but afterwards she just says she doesn't like it. What if, uh... Well, she's given that one person consent to do that. Yeah. Well, that, Not yeah, they're, they're anyone just, else. Yeah, I guess they're just playing around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, I raped you. I was just playing around. <laughs> Did it feel good, though? Yeah, you gotta almost have, like, You gotta a definitely word. get a lawyer. You gotta have right. a safe word between you, yeah, so that yeah. like, no, not right now. Like big because... fit squid, big fit squid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> telepathy, <laughs> government. <laughs> yep. Oh man. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. I don't know. I I always thought like, uh, I thought a lot of like growing up. I thought a lot of fetishes were weird, and now that I'm. And I'm not older, but now that I'm, I've grown since, you know, becoming sexually active. I'm like, yeah, this all makes sense. Well, I think a lot of a it lot comes of shit out just of, gets boring. Yeah. Yes, a lot. Well, I think a lot of it comes out of like being doing the same shit all the time. Yeah. I think a lot of people just change it up. Want to change it up? They're like, yeah, you know what? It'd be cool if you raped me. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> I'm kind of sick of just taking it. Yeah. Like yeah, how about you tie cover? Up. Yeah, how about you cover my mouth with a with a rag and put, make me unconscious and then yeah. stick it in my butt and then then you wake me up and show me the the video. Yeah, yeah. I mean, somebody's got to do it, right? Yep. There's that girl out there. Yep, and she's listening. And she's, and she's looking for you. Yeah, lucky viewer. <laughs> yeah so <laughs> are we encouraging people to go like test this out like no 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 that was i mean what happens if you just be safe you gotta be safe about it because yeah. there's a Use right a, way to gonna, choke people yeah right. and if you're going to rape somebody because they asked you to yeah just you know don't kill them well have them sign a contract or something you know yeah get a fucking lawyer and <laughs> i do hereby consent to yeah. you raping me yeah <laughs> Does that would that hold up in court because you can't well, let somebody kill you? 
legally, and you can't let in the United States. Well, maybe if we can have a duel. You know, back in the day, they had. Duels. It's a little weird, man. Assisted suicide feels like it should almost be a thing. Like if you just want to die, it is in certain states. I mean, it's like I guess you're just gonna kill yourself, really, if you really want to do it. But do you really need someone you? else to do it? What is it? You know, like what are they gonna do to you? You know, right? What are they gonna <laughs> kill me? <laughs> That should be the it should be the death penalty if you kill yourself. <laughs> like, Thanks, you know guys. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter if you're gonna kill yourself. You're gonna do it yourself, so. Or at least you're gonna try to. Yeah. Dude, how drink? Come on, drinks, drinks. commit. Drinks. You know what I mean? <laughs> commit. You right. see, it's like that's I why understand. it's called committing suicide. Right. True. I I didn't commit. Yeah. <laughs> I half asked. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Uh. I'm alright The fucking slurp I love cuttlefish more than I ever did Yeah yeah. I like turtles <laughs> I like turtles do That underwater... kid's in blackface No he's in whiteface Never mind, I forget Do fish uh, Like do underwater creatures fart Yes They don't They do they Yes But they like don't breathe fart. air So it's gotta be yeah, like a do. do they Oh it's like ox They get oxygen oh, yeah. from the water Yeah Huh so is it like bubbles that come out of them? Or? Yeah. Um, so that's what I do in the pool. It's great. <laughs> I think it'd be crazy if humans were able to extract oxygen through gills. Or yeah. if there was just some sort of way, like, <clears throat> for one, to not have salt water burn your fucking eyes. Yes. And for two, to be able to, you know, breathe underwater. I mean, you just gotta wear goggles, dude. No, I don't I, I don't wear goggles. I can't do it, dude. I cannot. You should wear goggles all the time. The just in water case. always comes in a little bit and starts filling up. Yeah. And... Unless you're don't... dropping like over thirty bucks on goggles, you're fucked. Yeah. Right, yeah. You gotta go pro. Pro yeah. goggles. Like if you're gonna right. be, like you're gonna you basically have to buy like professional scuba gear if you're gonna go down there. Get the flippers used to that's something I gotta do still. Like, they were like speedo sport goggles that were like super tight and right. I, like the next day after you wore them you'd still have the indent around your head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to wear like, a swim cap like too and shit. Or 40 bucks or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, the whole everything so that. Yeah, yeah that's crazy, man. I, I I just don't like water, man. I, I don't think I would be able to do that shit. I haven't been in water since 2013 like July. Mm. It's weird that you know that. Like <laughs> Did and before just, then, I off? hadn't been in water for, like, a couple years so like before that. No, I used to be a really good swimmer and probably still am, but I hate getting in the water. Oh, that's the best part. Was, I just don't like the idea of drowning, you know? It's not really cool. You have a pool, though. I'm, I'm not afraid of that. I'll know, go sailing and stuff like that. My pool's... I'll risk it. You know I love to sail. <laughs> My pool's four foot, so I'm probably My friends not call me drowning. Captain Dougie. <laughs> I can't do open water. Really. That's that's what I don't. Like. Uh, I like that. It was unless fun. I, unless like you know I'm, uh, I can I'll be out on a boat and I'll go fishing or like rigging or whatever, but mm-hmm. I won't swim in the lake. I fucking right. hate swimming okay. in the ocean. Yeah, I don't want to swim in like I fucking, fucking green water. Like, it's not that and cool. And I, I used to love it. I don't know why. Like I used to swim in the lake all the time, and I just I I think it's because, uh, because you drink it. Yeah, if you well, no, it's not even that. It's just like I don't want to be in the lake. Like it's just a. There's no reason. As soon as to... I found out how polluted Lake Ontario is, because yeah. it gets all the pollution from all the other Great Lakes fed into it, mm-hmm. I was like, nope. Fucking well, yeah. Hollis ruined Lake Ontario for me, dude. I also feel <laughs> like fucking demonstration. I mean, it's like it's like just go to a pool, dude. That's what they're for, right? That's why I'm friends with you. Yeah, just <laughs> pool. it's four feet, so you won't drown. Yeah, and we can order Pizza Villa <laughs> and have them come through Ooh. the back gate. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got goggles. <laughs> forty bucks. Yeah, forty dollar goggles. That's what we tip them in. Yeah. Man, there's cave you divers and shit, though. <laughs> like if That's you're fucking, a tip. <laughs> if you're diving underwater and, like, going through a cave or some shit, it's like... Oh, no. No, that's cause, the cause, one thing, dude. I fuck Even it. normal caves. Right. Yeah. Spelunking? I, I, if I'm underwater, I want to be able to go... Know that I can go straight up and be alive. But what if you want to swim under the boat? Hmm... How See big if is you the can boat? do it. How big is the boat? 
Are we talking like a kayak? Because <laughs> I'll swim <laughs> under that shit. Yeah, we're fucking talking, like, we're talking like Jerry Jones is like 424. I mean, I could probably pull off yeah. like a, a snow tube. I'll, pull, I'll swim under that. <laughs> but I don't know about anything else. You got to be careful sailing under sailboats because like the center of them has a deeper part than right, yeah. the rest of it. So Yeah. I, I was like going under the sailboat and I was like, oh shit. But that was years and years ago. My uncle sailed all the time. He, he just got a new sailboat uh, that he had to send back to the manufacturer because they fucked it up. It didn't have sails? No. <laughs> Actually, it had the wrong... It, it was just wrong, a boat. It had the wrong sails and a bunch of other stuff wrong with it. But, like, I can't imagine spending a good amount of money on something to be custom made right. from, like, directly from the supplier to have it get fucked. Yeah. Like I get mad when my pizza's wrong. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? This isn't square cut. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, this isn't well done, you <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and like I can't imagine like spending six figures on something and having it be wrong. Yeah. These two slices aren't the same size. You know, I hate that too though. I do hate that. When they cut it like right down the middle, a little off to the side, and then the all the big pieces are on this side and yeah. then all the little ones are over here. So just make them the same, dude. Uh, you know don't what? He, they, you know what why he don't hates? they have a mechanical thing that just cuts up? <laughs> they do. Certain places have that. <laughs> That's the sure. way to do it. But you know what Seth hates? Hmm. He doesn't like Pizza Villa because they have the toppings under the cheese. That's no. the best part. I yep. didn't say that. Yes, you did. Oh no, it messes. You said it messes. I don't with like the sauce. their. I don't like their pepperoni. He doesn't like the their cheese. pepperoni under the cheese. Okay, it, it messes with their sauce. Okay, you want the pure it makes sauce? Makes it oily. Yeah, because yeah. no, 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 you can't, you can't flip. No, don't let him elaborate and then switch sides. <laughs> take my, take you know, my, elaborate. take my completely biased opinion. Wait, wait, wait. Take it. Just You're ask trying them to, influence. to put the pepperoni on top. You could. I don't know if they're allowed to do that though. They can. They'll do it. <laughs> my they're like, yeah, we can't do that. We, it's, it's not policy. <laughs> <laughs> There's no button for that. Yeah, we don't. Have the, <laughs> the cheese goes on automatically. <laughs> my dad gets these hatch green chilies from New Mexico. And he brings them down sometimes and has them put it on the pizza. It's so good. You can just do that. Yeah. It's so weird. You can, you can put anything you want on plant. pizza. Pizza is yeah. so flexible. Did you guys see the pizza I made online? I think so, yeah. 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 Blueberry barbecue sauce. Yeah. Yeah, that's Pineapple, a good idea. Roasted red peppers. Because then you're and getting tomatoes. The, the sweetness. And, oh, so, and the blueberry. So that's... And then raspberry um, hot sauce that I made with jalapenos, and jalapenos are technically a fruit, so six different fruits on one pizza. Yeah. It was so good. And then I put barbecue and ranch. Oh, no, no. See, I, it already had the barbecue. I just put ranch on top, and it was so good. It's weird. People get so mad when people put, like, fruit on pizza. I didn't realize how shitty people were until I realized, until, like, I, I get criticized more for what I put on my pizza than my political beliefs. Right. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, you can legitimately start an argument like that. Like, yeah. oh, do you like pineapple on pizza? Pineapple's the one. Like, I don't know. It's just because it's a meme. Mm. If, if they were, like, you know, onions. Yeah. I don't... You got either people that are all in or not about it at all. Uh, I don't see what the issue is. Like, co- like, like, that are like, like that too. Like grilled pineapple is really good on shit. Like, yeah. and it's kind of the same thing. It's just warm pineapple. Pineapple doesn't have to be cold. Pineapple is great though. Like that's the thing is it's it's just fantastic. Yeah. Now it's if like, you're putting like green beans on pizza, <laughs> <laughs> like then you we got a problem. Green now beans and far. corn on a pizza. I'd do it. I'd put corn on a pizza. Yeah. I mean, there's not much flavor. It's good, to corn. like crunchy. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah, soft corn, much, though. Popcorn. That's the thing. <laughs> well, not popcorn. <laughs> oh, my teeth. <laughs> yeah, cheddar cheese popcorn. <laughs> Just corn pizza made out of corn dough. Yeah. I remember when I used to get those, like, uh, big tins of popcorn where they'd have it split. <laughs> yeah, that's the shittiest and, shit. Uh, yeah, it's always wicked bad, but you always eat all the chatter shit first. Yep. And then you would just let the... the and leave the caramel and shit. The caramel. <laughs> let it sit there. Well, what's funny is, like, <laughs> I'd never eat all of all of it. There's no I way. Would. I, I would all. only ever really? eat the chatter. Yeah. There's really? so much in there, though. Within I just like wouldn't. a couple days. 
no nope. i'd have it like I, I had one for like three years that was just sitting there like because i never <laughs> wanted to get rid of it i was like yeah it's still good was that that was the one that was the green bay packers tin right because i had yeah. one that was just like that that was the dallas cowboys yeah. tin well you wanted the tin you know the yeah tin's the cool it's part. a good storage thing tin is an underutilized yeah substance mm. um but that's how i get with the the with the wise the world cheddar, needs more tin white cheddar popcorn mm-hmm. that's like wicked expensive because of course it is because it's great mm-hmm. it's like 450 a bag and i will kill well, there's like jalapeno bag. popcorn and shit too that you can get yeah. it's like popcorn really you can do whatever you want to it it seems like mm-hmm. it's popcorn is something i love this word it's just underutilized yeah you, it's just I feel like the only thing that isn't underutilized is your use of the word underutilized. Yeah, that's definitely, I definitely <laughs> overutilized the word underutilized. Um, no, popcorn is great. My favorite thing sometimes, like at the sting, is that they, you can just be like, I want popcorn. And be like, word, here's popcorn. Right, yeah. Gary's does that too. They have a popcorn machine there. Yeah. Hmm. It's, just, it's just a good popcorn and pretzels. It's a time killer. Yeah. Well, it's, it's kind of like it's, it's a, good if you don't if you need a cigarette. Right. Popcorn and, you, and pretzels are bar things heavily. Yeah. You're supposed uh, to I wish I want to open a bar that does sunflower seeds personally. Right. Or pretzels like, are good cuz like they f- w- with the shell and you can just throw the shell on the floor, dude. Right. Whoa. Well, no, I don't know. That sucks. What does that? Cracker Barrel does that cuz they have wood chips on the floor. Right? Or is that Cheesecake Factory? I don't know. There's some restaurant, there's some chain restaurant. Where they that just let you throw on shit on the floor? You can just throw your shit on the floor, yeah. Something like that. That's great. Right? That is great. You know what I'd do? I'd be like, you can throw your change on the floor, and then you just got piles and piles right. of change. And then you have to pull it out of the wood chips. <laughs> yeah, just get a bunch Manually. of kids to do it. <laughs> <laughs> kids love playing in wood chips. Yeah, and then if you give them a couple of quarters or whatever. People are slipping and sliding on coins yeah. and stuff, because it's like that deep. I mean, it's not a bad idea. How do you guys like your popcorn? Because my dad and I, when my dad makes popcorn, butter salt. I like it popped first. Well, okay, yeah, butter salt. You ever put like a Cajun seasoning or spices on your popcorn? No. Make like hot butter popcorn. Yep. Yeah. We'll do like good. we'll do like cayenne pepper and like Creole seasoning. I've done hot sauce on popcorn though before. That could Strange, work, but. I'll take could it. work. That actually it starts to like shrivel. You know what? Up what, a little bit. what sounds like that's what you want is, is shriveled. If popcorn. you use like a popcorn machine, <laughs> and you do, you put hot sauce in with the melted butter when you make it. Yes, that seems like it'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah like a mixture. You know, barbecue and solution. ranch is a great flavor combination. See, I can't do barbecue and ranch, but I can do barbecue oh. blue cheese. Whoa! You hmm. ever try that? I nope, do barbecue blue cheese when I grill chicken sometimes. Huh. That's great. Just mix the barbecue. I do like barbecue sauce, blue cheese, and then like a little bit of hot sauce. Mix that together. I put barbecue sauce on a lot of shit now. Me too. My favorite thing is a cheeseburger with barbecue sauce. Mm-hmm. Absolute game changer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, I as mean, a vegetarian, kind of pseudo vegetarian, if I'm using that word correctly, I put barbecue sauce on everything. Yes. Yeah. See, I don't want a lot of it, though. No, just a little bit. Just yeah. enough to give it that. Put shit. it on like, a veggie burger. Because otherwise it eats all the other flavors out. Yeah. Yeah. Ketchup does that, too. Ketchup I can't. Fucking made out of the shreddy. pretty much same yeah. thing. Yeah. I, I, The only thing I like about ketchup, or the only thing I like with ketchup is chicken nuggets or french fries. Mm-hmm. I can't put ketchup. Yeah, because then you don't have to out. taste the chicken nuggets or french fries. <laughs> or a corn dog. I, I, every time I see a corn dog, I'm like, I'm going to buy a corn dog and it's going to be great. And I take and like two not. bites and I'm like, yep, I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, why am I eating a corn dog? <laughs> yeah, like, when dude, did this happen? It <laughs> like, you kind of, you like, kind of like snap I... out of it for a second. <laughs> You're like, wait a <laughs> minute. Like, what the fuck? And then you toss it. It's like a, it's like a corn dog wrapped in a pancake, basically. Yeah. yeah. And it sucks because those first two bites are great. And then you yeah. look at it. <laughs> like, And I You're gotta... immediately ready to puke because you've had two bites. Yeah. Uh, I do like the mini ones, though. Mm. Yeah. They're, they're well, yeah, that's because you don't have to. You don't have to look at there's it. There's <laughs> no commitment. It's like you just throw one in and that's it. Ball game. <laughs> <laughs> they are fucked up, though. <laughs> I fucking hate it. They got veggie corn dogs and stuff that I've been eating. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of, once in a while. A lot of that shit, like even vegan shit, is like getting better for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was actually talking to a client today about that, about how. Um, his daughter or two his two youngest daughters are 
vegans and they like whenever they come over to eat have dinner or whatever they'll bring their own vegan stuff to yeah. cook so they and then so one day the father decided to try it and like he admitted he's like yeah it tastes pretty similar but it's way more expensive than the regular product yeah but that would be a great way to stimulate the economy yeah uh open up a restaurant and have it advertised as the super testosterone hardcore meat yeah. place but then be like heh that's all tofu and soy, motherfucker. Yeah, that'd be funny as yeah. fuck. That'd be a wicked good social experiment. You might get sued. I'm I think. sure that's happened. Yeah. You could probably Google that or get a YouTube video of some sort where people are served that not knowing. They've they done it with poop. Really? Yes. In Japan, huh. they made human poop and people thought it was steaks. Huh. Yeah, yeah I like, can yeah, see that. How did you like this steak? Yeah, it was pretty good. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Well, maybe if the people who are pooping eat a lot of steak, you can look it up if you want. I'm not gonna look it up, yes. <laughs> it's like the one thing tonight that I'm not. Lo- I'm not gonna watch a bunch of Asians eat shit. I'll okay, but I'll do that on my own time. While you I'm just looked off. up what animal jizz is the furthest. <laughs> like, what are you? <laughs> no, yeah, that's where you draw no, the, the line. The hardest, not the furthest. Yeah, but the hard, but how the do you determine what, hardest? Yeah, the velocity. What he said. Yeah, I Americans, guess it's not no, Americans, okay. m- humans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Humans jizz at like twenty something miles an hour or something. Right. But that's not velocity. Distance per square inch. Is velocity, right? <laughs> I don't know, dude. We'll find out. Hardest would I'd imagine you'd Volume. Volume. How much pounds per square yeah, inch? Yeah, there's probably a formula. <laughs> <of> their <laughs> fucking loads. There's probably a formula of some sort. The scientific What method. animal f- slings the most ropes? Me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's I've take a seen break. It. I've seen it. Let's, let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs> when you get to slinging ropes, it's like, we got to get the science thing, too, the science globe. ClearShotsPodcast.com is where you'll find links to everything we do. You can check us out on Twitter at ClearShotsPod. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and check us out on Periscope for live videos. If you have anything you want to ask us, send us an email at ClearShotsPodcast at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. We will see you next time.